Oh, oh shit. Test, testing, okay, the microphone's working. This is very simple. I'm a man. I don't have any female parts on my body. Um, uh, the first the first thing is people say, uh, okay, a man and a woman get together and they have a baby, whatever, blah, blah, blah. I know this. We all know this. But if a woman decides to have a kid and a man don't want the kid, then, you know, the man should be able to sign off his rights. Or he bring the forth the question, you want to have an abortion. She can either say yes or no, but then sign him off. If you want to keep the baby and he don't want it, sign him off or get rid of it. But I'm a man. And in saying what I'm about to say, it might shock a few people. I don't have no business telling some woman what or what not to do with her body. Period. Not one man on this planet has that power or that right to tell a woman what to do with or without her body or when or whenever she should do something or whatever with her body. You take it to the next level. Say, you know, there's more women on the planet than men. What if all the women get together and put forth a bill that all men be castrated at the age of 15? You think about it. If enough, if enough people get together and write a bill or a law and enough people vote on it, it becomes law. So how can a group of men tell women how to govern their body when they don't have the parts that the women have? In other words, things that have to do with male issues should have nothing to do with women. In other words, I think all these guys should be fixed at a certain age based on one person's opinion. And if someone else likes this opinion, then they run with it. And if it becomes law, how many men you think gonna run in there at the age of 15 or whatever age they say man should be hooked up with and get their shit cut off? How many people gonna run in to get castrated if a bunch of women vote for castration? So how can a man who cannot have a baby tell somebody that they have to have a child? This goes to the abortion and non-abortion issue. For people who think that women should not have abortions, you ought to sit back and think about this child. If you're not going to raise the child, if you're not going to put forth an effort for the child to have a future, you should not have any say in what the woman is going to do with the child, unless you are the child's father. So if the chick wants an abortion, and hey, don't kill my kid, the man says, then that man should be have his ass in there when the baby fall out to pick that baby up and take the fucking baby home. Let me tell you something else. This happened to my father. He was with a woman, told her, I don't want to have nothing to do with you, whatever. And when she had the baby, she left the baby at the hospital with a note. And the note said all the information about this child's father. And when he got the phone call, he took his ass to that hospital and he picked up his child and he raised that child the best he could. End of that story. But no man has the right to govern over a woman's body. If you can spit a baby out, then fine, so be it. There's people out there in this world who cannot have kids. And these people who cannot have kids are trying to enforce their will upon women who can. So if people put forth laws that you cannot have an abortion they're not going to take care of this child so I think that whole situation should be up to one person and one person only and that's the woman with the child or the pregnancy or the situation the ball is totally in the woman's court some women have kids and don't even tell the baby daddy that they had kids until it's time for him to pay some child support what about situations like that when this man don't even know he got a kid but all of a sudden there's stipulations and people snatching money up out his paycheck so you look at the big picture before you pass judgment on one woman or one situation or one family or one family of people or one group of people or one race of people you need to look at the situation as a whole there are people out there who cannot do what some people can do and they want to impose their will on these people. You can't have an abortion. That's a crime against a child. Well, if no one's there to take care of this child, it might end up like that Casey Anthony. You know, you're having a baby and you don't want the baby. And you tell your mom, I want to put this baby up for adoption. And your mother says, no, we don't throw our children away. And then you have a teenager forced to raise a child. And look at this. When children raise children, they're not raising their child. They're raising their friend, their homie, someone to kick it with. 
I once knew a girl. Well, she wasn't a girl. She was a grown-ass woman. She was at home by herself most of the time. And her kid stayed at home. Why? I think because she was lonely. She had a kid. He didn't have to go to school. She sat around the house with him all damn day. And, you know, that's how that kid was raised. You have to look at the situation in each individual person. And personally, no man should govern over a woman's body. If she want to have a baby, fine. Write me off. Sign me off. I don't want one. Sign me off. If she signs me off, I'm clear. If I say I want the kid, and then she has it, and then all of a sudden I don't want it, then, you know, come on, man. That's just wrong. People make decisions. People do what they think is right. And most of the time, we don't know what we're doing. We're working on impulse feelings and emotions. And my feelings tell me that no man has the right to tell a woman what to do with her body. Period. Because I don't want a group of women saying, you know what? After a man gets 40, he doesn't need his penis no more. So let's just vote for all men to be castrated at a certain age so young girls can't be corrupted by an older man's needs. What if that became law? You're going to see a bunch of guys out there scrambling to change the law. Just like when this chick killed this baby because she won't have a free life or whatever. Or she just let her baby die. Whatever. What about that baby daddy? Can't find the baby daddy. See what I'm saying? So you look at the big picture, the whole picture. I am a man. I don't want some woman telling me that I don't need a penis after the age 40. See what I'm saying? Well, if they go around cutting everybody's dicks off, you're going to think about it. Oh, oh. My man is 40. I don't want my man to lose his shit. And then you have to look at a woman's body in the exact same manner. A woman is the only one that can get pregnant and have a baby in our species. You know what I'm saying? Check this out. One more philosophical moment for you. How can God be a man? A man can't spit out a baby. So let me go back to what I was talking about before. Now that I got you all twisted. Think about it. Women can get together and come up with a solution for women's problems. Men should be able to get together and come up with a solution for men's problems. Cop prostate cancer, uh, male erectile dysfunction, shit that's supposed to be linked to circumcision. Oh, let me let me get back to the situation. Even with circumcision, there's places on this world and in this country that you know you have to get a boy circumcised that's not true there's been studies linking you know uh, penile dysfunction to circumcision so way back in the 60s and, and 50s and all that shit when everybody was getting their shit cut off it was based on what based on some other groups religious beliefs that is clean and more clean and, and you're, you're less you know, holy if you got all this meat hanging on you. And all those were lies. If everybody bases reality upon a lie, we'll all be stuck. So, personally, once again for the last time, no man should have the right to govern over the use of a woman's body. That's for a woman to deal with and only for women to deal with. If you don't want to have a kid, you sign off on it. If she want to have a kid, she sign you off. If you want the kid and she don't have the kid, you sign her off. You get your baby. You do what you got to do to keep human existence flowing. Because if a man and a woman ain't clicking, how long it takes before we all fade out? If you tell a woman she can't have a kid, you know, then who, who's going to say, okay, you can't have them at a certain age? Who governs over us? We do. Think smart, be positive, and do not put yourself in a box because once you place yourself in a box you have no control over yourself so once you have no control over yourself it means you're being controlled by other people and other entities and if that's the case we've already lost see that's why they have Planned Parenthood for people like us those of color who cannot make decisions on their own you can believe that shit if you want to and you can believe that you're inferior if you want to I believe I'm the best that God has ever had to offer. 
because if you don't believe in yourself you will have other people making your beliefs for you so once again for the last time I'm a man I only want to deal with male issues if a woman wants to have an abortion that's her business if a woman wants to have her shit removed or whatever that's her business because it doesn't affect me unless she's having my child then once again I'd say don't kill mine give mine to me and that's how it's gonna be but for those out there who want to control and dominate and tell people what to do you look at their lives you see what they can and cannot do and then you can base your life on theirs because if they can't do something and they want to force you to do it you got to stop that real quick you have to nip that in the bud there's reasons why people think and there's reasons why people put their thoughts in motion if we all sit around and debate about an issue the issue is only being talked about not until you sit down and write legislature will anything ever change or happen and yes people get caught up women who are snookered and want men will get pregnant and have these babies to keep that lock on a man but remember you only lock yourself up when you put yourself in that situation if you put plastic on the pickle you lessen your chances of getting stuck with something that you don't want or you do want and someone else don't want this is an open-ended question that you will never find the answer to because everyone has their own thoughts and formulations but once again my formulation is this if I can't have a baby I can't force you not to have one or to have one if one by me and I don't want it you should be able to sign me off if you want to keep it without me that's on you if I want to keep it without you that should be on me no one should have the right to say you know what you can't have an abortion well if both people don't want the baby well if both people can't take care of the baby you see what if one doesn't want to put their child up for adoption and would rather not have a child what if one wants to give their child to a relative and this guy says I don't want my baby being raised by your family and he still don't want the baby so you have all these intangibles that you have to put into place before anybody can make a decision or make any judgment on what somebody can and cannot do and if that's the case then only women should be able to vote on women's issues and not some rich man living up someplace in some mansion or not some woman who can't have a kid you know saying oh it's a damn shame that these all these kids are being aborted if you're not gonna do for these people don't place judgment in their lives and that's the bottom line we're all human beings and either we do it or we don't the question was what was the question I've been talking so damn long but it was about abortion or the rights of a woman if they're the rights of a woman they're the rights of all women not as a whole you need to understand that because people like I said there's a group of people who can and a group of people who can't those who can't want you all to do what they can't do those who can may not want to do it so like I said once again this is a question that should only be answered by another woman or um, brought up to a woman the only input us men have is when it truly affects us is this your kid or this not your kid do you want it or do you not want it? Do you want something to do with it? Or do you not want something to do with it? Most people grow up and change. Some guy may not want any kids right now. Grow up to be 45 years old, has no kids, find out he has one, and falls in love with his kid and gives his kid this entire life. Kid's going to grow up not having a father, pissed off at a father that he never had. Or a kid's going to grow up without a mother. So you look at the big picture. And not just one human interest or one part of human interest you know I'm a man I don't want some woman or any woman or a group of women or a group of gay men or a group of men who don't like men or a group of people saying that all men need to be castrated at a certain age you when you put that analogy in there or just say all women need to have their breasts cut off when they're a certain age and then you let people that are not women vote on this and you see what happens you let people who do not have nothing at stake put their two cents in on a situation and everything gets fucked up so you look at it and you look at it from each side each perspective and then you've been tubed